flipping furniture on Facebook Marketplace. It's without a doubt my absolute favorite niche category. It sells very, very quick and it makes a really high profit return. In today's episode, it's gonna be jam-packed with value on how to flip furniture on Facebook Marketplace. I wanna take you through the step-by-step -step process of how I source a particular item, how I negotiate to get the best possible price, how I go and clean the item to present it in its best way, and then obviously list it as well to get the quickest sale for the most amount of profit you can. So really the whole purpose of this episode, if you're sitting on the fence about getting into furniture, I wanna tip you over the fence and I wanna get you into this space and making a really high profit return. To prove the point, I have just sold this entertainment unit for $240, guys. This was a really cool Hampton style, a white look, which is what everyone's buying at the moment. I knew it was gonna sell well. I bought this just last week for $50 and in the space of just five days, it's gone ahead and sold for 240 bucks. Now, it sold for 225, I paid 15, or got her to pay $15 for postage. So it's worked out to be a $240 sale, $190 profit. And that's not uncommon. That's the point that I'm trying to prove here. It's something that you can get into to make really high profit in really quick time and hopefully you get a kick out of this video. Remember to give the video a like and a subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hopefully this one's jam-packed to value and it gets you into flipping furniture because it is my most favorite niche category and I'm really pumped to show you how I get it done. So let's get into it. So the first step in the whole process and arguably the most important is sourcing the right pieces of furniture when you're on Facebook Marketplace. What sells the best? What's gonna get you the highest return? So for me, there are four main pieces of furniture that I look for. The first is the bedside tables, the second is the desk, the third is the chest of drawers, and the fourth is the entertainment unit, kind of like the one I just sold today. So when I'm looking for these four pieces of furniture, I'm also looking for certain characteristics. The first one is no damage. If there's any damage whatsoever, I'm immediately gonna pass on the item. I wanna get it in its best condition, almost like new, or very good condition, and just simply give it a clean and a polish, and then it's ready for photos and listing. So no damage is a huge, crucial characteristic that I look for. I also look for just solid wood. I don't really play through veneer and laminates. Even though you can find really good pieces of veneer and laminate, and they do resell well, I just pay more attention to solid wood because the resale value is just so much more. Um, you also wanna look for local trends. So pieces of furniture that sell well in your area. Now I'm here on the Gold Coast, so there are a couple of trends that work really well for me. And the first one would be that white Hampton style look. Whenever I see something in you know, bright white, um, that I know will just move really, really quick. If it's solid wood, even better. Um, coastal as well, sort of whether anything in that coastal feel, um, I'm always gonna look for that. Wicker sells very well as well. So look, there's a few different things there in the sense of your local trend that I'm not gonna know myself, but it's something that you will need to go out and look for in your area to know what sells best. Um, but I'm always looking for that solid wood and that Hampton style look, and it needs to just be solid timber. That's really where I'm narrowing my focus down to. And I just constantly set alerts on Facebook Marketplace and keep refreshing until I see one in my hit zone and my strike zone from a pricing perspective, and then I go out and I immediately buy it because that is the other crucial thing as well with furniture. In this game, you need to be incredibly quick and on the money to see the item, message, say you're gonna get it, and then go and get it. So when it comes to sourcing, you've gotta be fast. You've gotta know what you want, see it, ask for it, and then go and get it straight away, or you could miss out. I've missed out on a number of sales that I could have possibly got my hands on because I was just too slow off the mark and I was paying too much attention to other things and I wasn't honing in on just going and grabbing it the minute I saw it. You also want to pay attention to bad items. So bad item listings, I should say. So a really bad photo and a poor description can often be your best friend because in a really busy market, in a really fast paced market, it's those sort of listings that get left by the wayside. And if you pay time and attention into digging through that bad listing and actually see the piece of furniture for what it is, it might tick all the boxes that you were originally looking for. It could be solid wood, it could be Hamptons, um, and it could be within the price range that you're looking for as well. So before we get into the negotiating, I really just want to go through those key characteristics of the type of furniture that I look for and the things that you're gonna to need to look for in your own area of the world as well. So I'm gonna go through Facebook Marketplace now. I'm gonna try and find a few items that I can go and buy and then obviously go ahead and, and negotiate on a fair price on, which will be step two. And uh, I'll, I'll get into this and then I'll come back and I'll let you know about how I go ahead and negotiate.
Okay guys, I've done some digging and I've been able to find this coffee table off Gumtree. Now, he was offering $60, but crucially for step number two, I've been able to negotiate a lower price point. So I've actually got this one down to just $40. And that was through me saying, would you take 40? Now he didn't counter to 50, he just accepted my $40 offer. See, the thing is with furniture, people are just wanting to get these big bulky items out of their house. He was moving and he wanted to just simply clear it out. So he said, look, no worries, $40 is fine. So I'm really happy with that. We've secured a really good purchase here. It's solid wood, it's a great looking coffee table. I'm really pumped to go and get it. If it is in the good condition that he says it's in, I'll take this one straight home and give it a good clean and get this one listed this afternoon. So happy to do that. We're gonna go and pick it up now. I'm gonna show you it in a second. Uh, but really I just wanna point out that step number two, you must always negotiate. It is the first bit of profit in your pocket the minute you do it, and you've gotta do it on every single item you buy, whether it's in an op shop or on Facebook Marketplace, but more so with furniture. It's so, so important because people generally will accept a lower offer. So don't be afraid to do it. Let's go get this piece of furniture. Guys, so I'm back at the house and I'm really happy with this first Facebook Marketplace pickup of the day. Um, so this guy was actually moving house and he was looking to get rid of a heap of stuff. So I've ended up buying two pieces of furniture from this guy and I was able to negotiate a really, really good price on both. So first of all was the coffee table that we originally spoke about. This one was in great condition. He's even put a coating over the top to stop any stains and marks. So he's put a lot of time and care into this one, which makes me even happier because I'm buying it in a very good condition with no damage. It's obviously solid wood that we spoke about earlier. Always wanna make sure that it is a solid wood item. And then secondly, it had a bit of uniqueness about it. This drawer actually runs all the way through to the other side. So I thought that was a pretty cool feature. Um, and it also has a heap of shelving space uh, on both sides there as well. So there was a lot talking to me about this piece that was gonna tell me it was gonna sell well. And I've only paid the $40. Didn't have to negotiate him any further because we'd already agreed on the price through Messenger. Um, so I was happy to get that one done for $40. But because he was moving house, I said, have you got any other pieces of furniture available? And he did say that he had some bedside tables. So I went and had a look at the bedsides. They were in good condition. They were a laminate though, which I don't typically buy. But what caused me to actually grab these ones was he was only asking $15 each, if you could believe. So $30 for two bedside tables. I really couldn't say no. These are in great condition. They have sort of the Scandi, uh, Scandi sort of looking uh, legs on them. It's got sort of that white Hampton style look, which obviously appeals to me in this area uh, on the Gold Coast. And they are in great condition, there's no damage. So it's just gonna be a light clean on these and I'm gonna be ready to post and I've only paid $30 for the pair. So because it was well under that $50 price range that I like to buy at anyway, I was happy to sacrifice on the solid wood and just get the laminate. Um, so awesome result there. So I paid $30 for that. I have paid $40 for the coffee table. So all in all, two items of furniture for just $70. I think they're gonna resell very well, but the third step in all of this is to give them a very, very good clean. Uh, so in a second, I'll show you what I use to clean the product and uh, then we'll get this one up for listing and hopefully it sells really, really quick. guys both pieces of furniture clean sparkling and ready for photos so happy with the results there hasn't been a lot of work had to be put in because they were just bought in very good condition um, i thought i'd just very quickly take you through my four cleaning supplies that i use and the first one is this sugar soap now the sugar soap it only needs to be put in a bit of hot water and it's only about a lid's worth and you're good to go for the entire clean. It takes off any loose dirt very, very quickly. And then with a bit of cold water over the top to wash it away, can generally just get the job done with this bottle alone. So that one I will always use. Um, if there's any sort of tough uh, stuff to get out of any piece of furniture, I'm always using the gumption. Gumption's a great one, even for shoes, it just gets rid of the tough dirt and stains. And I'll always, always, always use the gumption. And generally the strike rate on this guy, it almost works every time. 
Um, once I've got it all done, if there's any sort of sticky or gluey uh, type substances, say for instance, a desk has still got some sticky tape residue, um, this stuff here, this orange power, works very, very well. So again, like the gumption, you don't need a lot of it. It's pretty powerful. And you just wanna make sure that you're putting it on the right surface as well, because you can damage some pieces of furniture if you're using this on the wrong type. Um, so just make sure you're careful if you do end up using this power, um, orange power, but it does work very well for any sort of tough stains, um, sort of gooey, sticky stains that you can't get out. Um, finally as well, once you've done everything, it's just a polish with the furniture polish. So Oceda is a really great brand. I use this all the time. It just makes the furniture pop and uh, it presents really well on photos once you've given it a good covering. So I always use that to finish the job and the others to get the job done. So um, that's really just a quick look at it. I've got these all cleaned up now. So I'm gonna take them upstairs and I'm gonna basically start to present them ready for photos so that we can get the listing out this afternoon. Hopefully these ones can sell pretty quick, but um, let's get the furniture inside and I'll show you how I take my photos. So all the hard work's now done, guys. You've sourced your item, you've negotiated a really good price, you've gone and picked it up and then you've cleaned it really, really well. You now need to take fantastic photos. And one way I do it is I stage the piece of furniture where it would normally get housed if the buyer was to buy it. So that way it just appeals to them a whole lot more. They can see how it would look in their home by being positioned next to a spare bed, for instance. So I'll always do that. Now I'll just take photos with my iPhone. So there's not a lot of fancy um, camera work done here. It's just simply grabbing the photos with your phone, but just having them presented with the lamp and next to the bed, um, it just turns what is just a standard piece of furniture into a really cool look when you take the photos. So I'm gonna quickly take a few of these photos. I'll also take a shot with the pair of, of them. So the two bedsides, I'll take that outside so they can see that there is the two of them. Um, and then we'll put a description together as well. And I'll link that here for you to have a bit of a look at. So I'm gonna quickly take some photos of not only the bedsides, but also the coffee table as well downstairs. I'll show you what the photos look like and then we'll round it out by writing up a really good description for each one. So as you can see there guys, I'm really happy with the way the photos have come out. The next step is to write the description. Now it's really important that you make all the catchy heading words in your title and that's it. You wanna focus on making the title and the photos the best aspect of your ad. Obviously the description plays a part, but 99% of the time people aren't even reading the descriptions. The key element you need in your description is the dimensions. So the length, the width, and the height are the three pieces of information you need with your tape measure to work it out and put it into the description. So as you can see here, I've got my catchy title, I've got all my photos, I've got my key description details in the sense of dimensions. And then the last couple of things I put in there is the pickup location and I also offer delivery if they would like that service as well. It only puts an extra 10 to $20 in your pocket, but that goes a long way if you're doing that a few times each week. So that's everything to create the description. We're now ready to get this one published. On a pricing front, I'm gonna list these for $150 for the coffee table and the bedside tables I'm gonna just do for $60. Now, that would turn into a $200 sale if it both came about and I bought the item for $70 in total. So we're potentially gonna make $130 profit here on an afternoon's worth of work. Um, look, I will say potentially, but I do have the backing of the fact that it has been done regularly in the past over the last couple of months. It is a great space to play in the furniture and I really do hope that this video today has helped you see the light, I guess, and think that this is a great niche category to get into. And I would really stress that you trial just one piece of furniture each week. I know they're large, big and bulky and they can, I guess, crowd up the house a little bit, but just do one item. Keep it in the garage, clean it up, take your photos, put it back into the garage and then see how you go when you're listed on Facebook. Hopefully you'll make some money. And let me know in the comments below if you do have a crack at it and if you do get success out of it. Uh, I'd love to hear those stories. Um, I'm gonna wrap it up there, guys. That's pretty much everything. We've gone through the whole process. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you've got some value out of it. Remember to subscribe if you haven't done so already and give the video a like if you learned anything today. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure and hopefully I can bring you these sales in the what's sold video that I'll have coming up over the next couple of weeks. But appreciate you tuning into this one. Go make some money out there. I look forward to catching you in the next one. Thanks guys.